better I'm in need and I'm looking for help God you're always there for me wherever you lead me I can follow you God you're always there for me oh God you're always there for me help me believe you know what's best for me Feel it in my soul When you are in control I got one life to live And I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live And I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I got one life to live And I wanna live it your way Oh yeah One, one, one life to live And I wanna live it your way Whenever I'm lost and I don't know where to turn God, you're always there for me Wherever I go, you're always by my side God, you're always there for me Oh, God, you're always there for me So help me believe you know what's best for me to be more like you because your way is the best way i feel it in my soul when you are in control i got one life to live and i want to live it your way oh yeah i do what i should do when you help me choose i got one life to live and i want to live it your Whoa. way oh yeah <laughs> all right, all right. Enough watching people fall down. Okay. Congratulations! You put your phone down. You win a heated shower mat. Oh, hey, that's awesome. No fair. A set of cashmere bathrobes. What? You are so lucky. A year's supply of dandelion shampoo. Never heard of that. But wait, there's more. All oh, right. You'll also get a combination electric nose hair clipper and toothbrush. That's an interesting combination. 17 pairs of toeless socks. What? One dozen brushless toothbrushes. Uh -oh. 300 reusable stainless steel floss picks. Okay, I'm not sure I want to. And open. that's not all. You'll also receive a four day trip to Siberia. No. Three flat tires. A mystery oh. pet and one 100% recycled glow-in-the-dark toilet brush. This is getting a little out but of hand. But we're not finished. Yes, you are. I don't want You'll it. also receive two live peacocks. I don't want them. Nine pairs of battery-operated shoelaces. Oh, cancel. We're just getting started. No. You're also getting a tiny hole. No, cancel. Forfeit. I, I'm not And 16 playing. pounds of butter. I don't want butter. But wait, no. there's more. No. I like butter. Oh, uh, uh, I'm John. I'm Brandon, and welcome to the, the So and So Show. We're actually in the middle of a different show right now. Yeah, that's right. We're contestants on this show. Answer it or lose it all. And we're on a bit of a winning streak. Oh, yeah. And welcome back to Answer It or Lose It All. Our contestants, John and Brandon, are on a bit of a winning streak. Let's see. Their combined total so far is 
10,000 smackaroos. <laughs> so the question I'm going to ask you, John and Brandon, is do you want to keep playing or cash out? Remember, if you answer incorrectly, you lose it all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we came on this show to win big, so we're not backing down. That's right, we're gonna answer or lose it all. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. This question is worth $40,000. <laughs> Which part of the brain acts as a control center to keep emotions and impulses in check? The brain has multiple parts? Yeah, you know, it's uh, the, the cerebrum, the cerebellum, the, uh, the hippocampus. There's a hippo camping in my brain? Your brain, probably, but focus. You have five seconds oh. remaining. I, I just thought there was a back and a front. Oh, no, 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 that, that, that's it, that's uh. it. Uh, the prefrontal cortex. Uh, wait. That answer is correct. Yes! Oh, oh I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> You now have $50,000. You can walk away with that cash prize right now, or you can answer one more question and double your money. Ooh. That would be $100,000. But remember, get a wrong answer and you will lose it all. Well, look, we always said that if one of us wants to walk away and take the cash, that's what we do. I know we should stop. $50,000 is a lot yes. of money. You know how many red vines and cheese whiz I can buy? I, I just, I what do you think? I hear you. The smart play is to take the money. My yes. gut is telling me to take the money. We've already earned it. I mean, it's ours. <laughs> so I think that we should go for it! Yeah! We're going for it! We're going for it! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gentlemen, your $100,000 question is multiple choice. Yes, I am the best at these. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like okay. a spoon cutting through butter. I don't think that's the same. Okay, it doesn't matter, I'm good at them. Okay. Your question is, what land animal has the largest eyes? Is it A, an ostrich, B, an elephant, C, an owl, D, a hippopotamus? What you got? Well, I have to tell you, I have no idea. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. Well, what do you think? I don't know, an elephant? I mean, because they're so big and big no, eyes? No, that's what they want us to think. They're trying to trick us with that question. Hey. I'm, I'm thinking maybe the owl, maybe the owl. Those, those, those are big old yeah, eyes, big you know, they're yeah. looking around like by not. You do have a life preserver remaining. Oh, oh right, right, right. You right. can either ask the audience, phone a relative, or eat a ham sandwich. I do think better on a full stomach. You're not eating the ham sandwich. I, th I think we should ask the audience. Okay. Okay. Audience, please lock in your answer now. Please. The audience chose an elephant. I knew it. All right. All right. All right. Hey, I guess that's right. You know, it makes sense. I mean, we shouldn't overthink these things. Okay. So let's just let's just go with elephant. We choose B. Elephant. You chose B, an elephant. It's what the audience chose. It's what you're going with. It is locked in. And the answer is A, an ostrich. No! You chose incorrectly and you lose it all. But as a consolation prize, you both will receive battery operated shoelaces and 16 pounds of butter. Thanks again for playing Answer It or Lose It All, where you just lost it all. Hey, I guess 16 pounds of butter isn't that bad? Yes, John, it is that bad. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I don't know. Oh, I do. It's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs>
And that's what today's Bible story is all about. Just lay it on us. Great. Today's verse is from the book of Proverbs, which contains a ton of wisdom. Many of the Proverbs were written in a simple way, so they're really easy to remember and understand. Like this one. If you find honey, eat just enough. If you eat too much of it, you will throw up. Okay, first things first. Gross. Second, it's true. If you eat too much of, well, anything, you could throw up or at least feel like you want to throw up. Even if it's something really tasty. We've all probably eaten too much of something before. Maybe it was ice cream, yum. Candy, yum. And maybe we've eaten too much of something over and over again. So here's the question. Why do we keep doing this to ourselves? Why do we keep doing this? Gloria, this is my fifth helping of dessert. I've got chocolate layer cake, cherry pie, oatmeal cookies, and a soda pop to wash it all down. Oh, Frank, if you eat all that, you're gonna throw up. You need to eat a more balanced diet. I know these are your favorites, but just because you can't eat them all doesn't mean you should. Okay, I hear you, I hear you. Uh... Dear Lord, thank you for this food. And Frank, what are you doing now? I'm doing what you said. I'm balancing all my dessert on my head, and I got an apple. Oh, Frank. Even though we, like Frank, know the truth, we continue to do what we know we shouldn't. And the proverb that we just read isn't just about food. There are a lot of different kinds of things that we might overdo it with. You might like to play video games after school, just to unwind or relax, or watch a super funny video to laugh. Those things may not be bad things, but if you do either one of those things for hours and hours and hours, you become tired and irritable and no one wants to be around you. That could make a good thing turn bad. The proverb is really knowing about when to stop. Like this. We're We're dancing dancing too, 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 too too much. We're dancing too, 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 too too much. We We should should really stop. stop. It's been 14 hours. We We really need to stop and sit down now. We're dancing too, 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 too much. There's lots of other things we could be doing. I'm Laura. I could be doing karate. I'm Kenny. I could be modeling. Look at me. My name's Ann, and I could be doing gymnastics. I'm David, and I could be doing stand-up. Knock, knock. My name's Nancy, and I can't quit dancing, like, for real. I'm Jay, and I wish I could be playing music. Honk. My name's Agnes. They got my name wrong. And here's a bunch of other kids not dancing. They're floating, and skating, and swimming. Shaking hands! And writing letters! But not us! us. We We need need help! We're dancing too, 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 too much! It's It's really getting out of hand! Whoa! It's not a bad thing to dance, unless it's the only thing you do. We can stop if we try, yeah! Yeah, no more dancing, okay? This is too much of a good thing! My name's Agnes! My feet hurt so much! Run away! Ah! Okay, that was beyond silly. But I hope that you get the point. You can have too much of a good thing. That's why you need to ask God to help you have self-control so that you know when to stop. Let's read the verse one more time. If you find honey... Eat just enough. If you eat too much of it, you will throw up. Thanks, Kellen. I think that helps. I guess we should have stopped in the game show a little sooner. Hey, it was a game show. And taking risks, it's all a part of the fun. But definitely in life, you do need to know when to stop. And when you've put your trust in Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit inside of you to help you along the way. I appreciate the story, Kellen, but I'm still bummed that we lost. What do you mean you lost? You won 16 pounds of butter. Hey, you're right. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Kellen. I'll see you next time. I know we couldn't stop during the game, but I I get like that in real life too. Like when there's a show I wanna binge watch, I forget to eat, sleep, interact with other humans, everything. Oh, oh yeah, me too, totally. Except I never forget to eat. (laughs) I wonder why it's so hard to stop sometimes. Yeah, good question. It is. Reveal the question. 
Oh, why is it hard to stop? I guess because you want whatever feeling you're feeling to keep going. True, and you may be afraid that you're never gonna get that opportunity again. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you just want more. Yeah, but if we listen for the Holy Spirit, we can trust God to help us do what is best. Yeah, no way to say it better, my friend. Well, thank you. Yeah, we'll see you next week for a brand new show. Bye, Bye! everyone. What did we learn today? That they're good. <laughs> <laughs>